Hey everybody, um, on uh, June 7th, 2017, it's a Wednesday, um, uh, yes, I am recording this on June 8th, but, um, this, uh, this is just the introduction to what you're about to see, um, is when I went with my life coach to get a haircut, um, a new style that I've never, never, ever thought I would ever approve of, and, uh, it got me really uncomfortable, so, without further ado, uh, here is my haircut experience, and kind of how the day went especially after the haircut. All right, first off, here I am. I'm at Craig's Cuts. Uh, I've never been here before, and we're gonna get myself my haircut that I've never had before, never thought existed, and I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> what are you excited about? Well, I'm excited about a new style. I don't know. This is all very new to me. <laughs> Never gotten a haircut before? Oh, no, 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 I've had a haircut. <laughs> but I, I've i never done this kind of haircut before. Okay. I, always, I always go in to get a haircut and I go, what do you think would look good on me? Like a different style that you see currently. And they always say, well, what do you like? And I'm like, I don't know. I, you're supposed to tell me. <laughs> but that's why my life coach is here. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Hi. This is Matthew. <laughs> Death is one of my celebrity friends. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not quite that much. <laughs> He's will be once my vlogs get out there, but I'll do time. Huh? I'll only do time. Oh good, your hair is much longer than I thought. That's actually yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. That's why I've been dying for a haircut. Mm -hmm. Since May 9th. You know what? That looked great the way it is. Let's just top there. Just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we aren't gonna cut. We are gonna cut it? What are we doing? I have no idea. You're the one with the plans. I think to get to the picture, we'd have to take like that much off. Hmm. That's okay. I compromised okay. for the picture because I didn't think it was this long. Yeah, okay. So, so being just, this like, long, this will work out even better. Let's yeah. go ahead and leave the, the, the yeah. length on top cool. Do you want for me just right kind of, like, now. Clean it up a little bit? Please. Okay. Now, my only hesitation and, uh, well, not the only in fear, but like, I, I would get like a haircut and then they would show me how to, uh, how some possible ideas on how I could style it and whatever, with gel and all that stuff, but I always forget how they did it in the first place. You just figure it out. Yeah, figure out what works for you. <laughs> that's what I hate. They always say it's, it's whatever works best for you or what, whatever you like, whatever you want to do. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> That doesn't quite work. We're going to explore, figure out whether we want a dry look or a wet look. What does that mean? It's basically whether, like when you put gel in it, it looks like it's wet. Like you just got out of the shower, you combed it all over, and it's got that look all day. It's like shiny. Right. A dry look is like mine, where it doesn't look like there's anything in it, but it stays There's warm. definitely something in it. Right. I have, I have this gel, I don't know what it's called, it's blue, in a big container, and it hardens mm -hmm. fast. Is it called Hardup? I have no idea. <laughs> it's called LA Look, when you got it at the Walmart, huh? <laughs> I, I didn't get it. My brother got it before his mission, and then he... And then uh, when he left, my younger, my youngest brother took it, and um, one day when I visited my family, I asked my mom if I could have it, because I needed gel, mm -hmm. and so I have it. That's as far as my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't really know how long it's going to record. <laughs> That's running against Sean, I guess. <laughs> that was close to silent. I can't do a lot of it, like amazing editing mm. stuff, because I do it through YouTube. Uh, but everything else is uh, YouTube stuff. I can do basic stuff. That's why I need a computer and my own editing somewhere. Yeah. And then I have uh, someone in my ward, his brother makes music, and I've asked him to make music for me when I get a little bigger. <laughs> that way I don't get copyright issues. Oh, I don't know what I look like. That's a different name. You like it? I Just... <laughs> Does that look any better? Yeah, you look freaking hot. Okay, yeah, I look better. You look at the CEO of Amazon. Alright. Actually, you look better than the CEO of Amazon. He doesn't very much look hair. So, in like one or two words, what would you say this hairstyle is? <laughs> Describe it. I would say... <laughs> It depends on your view of, of what's good and bad in the world. I think the contemporary is, is, or I think nerds have been modernized. I think you look like a nerdy Captain America. And I okay. the perfect description is awesome. I can accept it because I do like the <laughs> style, so... Good. You like the style? Although I don't think my family would approve, though, but... Your family's gonna love it. Alright, so... Um, I'm back, uh, from... Uh, being with my life coach, um, uh, getting a haircut. <laughs> I don't know if this really looks good at all. I'm gonna find out when I edit the video, but, um, I honestly haven't really seen what I look like, honestly. So, um, apparently it's really good. It's dope. It's, um, like, killing it, uh, is what my life coach keeps saying. Um, we, uh, got some opinions from some girls after I, uh, after we went, uh, after we were done, uh, my life, life, life coach spotted a couple girls sitting at a table outside of a restaurant, and, uh, we, so we decided to talk to them and see what they thought about, uh, what they think about my haircut, and they... Uh, they they said it looks uh, I don't even remember what they said um, yeah I don't remember what they said but it was good uh, they described it in uh, a couple words or what uh, a simple phrase and it was good but anyway um, I, I think they liked it so that's good strangers liked it. Um, I can see myself in the reflection. I don't know. I hope. I think this is just uh, where it's, it's just wearing down. So it's going to be really weird when, if I go, go home to my parents on Sundays or whatever and I look like this. They're going to really question it. But, you know, I feel like a new person. I like it. Pretty much. Or I liked it when it was originally up. I, they have a soft gel that they put in my hair afterwards. And um, I think it's just wearing off. Wearing, just being down. Plus, I think I, I did touch it in uh, more than I should have. So it kind of went down. Um, my gel... Uh, it hardens really quickly, so when I put it in, it will stay in a, a form that I want. But 
but um, my life coach keeps comparing me to uh, and, and saying that I look a lot like Captain America. And I asked my roommate, and he was like, "Yeah, a little bit like when you're when you, when he was younger, uh, you do." Uh, so I guess that's good. different. It's very, very, very different for me. Um, I, I looked at some of the footage from before the haircut and after the haircut, and I could tell, like, that was my old self, and it doesn't really look good at all. I, I honestly don't really like it, actually. And then this new self, I don't like the haircut too much, like the sides, it's just, I look weird, but it's a contemporary, um, conservative, a concerted, contemporary conservative style, and I'm just not used to doing that, so I just, to me, it just isn't, it's just not me, 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 because, uh, it, I just... I don't know. I, I, I'm not used to it, um, but I think I'll get used to it. Uh, every time my, my life coach would say that how, like, say how what great I look and whatever, I kept saying, the more you tell me that is where the, um, the more I will eventually, uh, understand that and get it and grasp it and I will um, for sure uh, like feel it and I'll know it and uh, I'll, I'll just be me and be happy um, I'm happy I'm happy so I went to the bank on Monday with my mom uh, to work out some issues with my account and because of how long it took, like, we were there for at least, we'll just say at least an hour. I think it was a lot more, a lot longer, but we were there for at least an hour, and, uh, as a courtesy because of how long it took, and they, like, kept expressing their thanks for, uh, how long, for our patience in waiting, um, as we were working on these issues. They came back with uh, the the tender gave us two coupons for free coupons for the uh, BYU Creamery where we can get um, uh, free uh, for free a half gallon uh, tub of ice cream of any kind that we want. I'll always remember um, Elder Bingham. He was a the elder of the senior couple, one of the senior couples in my mission, he always said, Elder, do you know what the difference between a good and a bad haircut is? Two weeks. So, I will find out what, uh, if it's a good or bad haircut, in two weeks. Of course, my life coach, as much as I want to say his name, my life coach keeps saying, uh, as uh, today, as we were getting the haircut, like, we'll work up to, like, there's, he has plans, it's crazy, he has an idea of what, the, he has an end goal of where he wants my hairstyle to be, and this is not it, this is not where it really, where he really wants it to be, um, it just needs to be longer, uh, more faded, more just good, so... I'm, I guess, excited for all these different things, these good things that are happening. Only good has come from meeting this life coach, this mentor. Um, and my parents don't approve of it. They don't like, uh, because of issues that have been brought up and because of certain situations that happened, yes, our relationship, our, our, our friendship has been, like, how it all happened is bizarre. And that's, that's my life coach's word. It is bizarre. But, it will, um, 
it will be worked out. Um, sad to say, but I am trying to cut my f my parents at least uh, out a little bit more um, than they are uh, with their involvement as they are now, um, because it only becomes a negative thing for me, for them being in my life the way they are. Yes, I will probably have to go to them, you know, for questions or whatever concerns, but I'm not going to have them be someone I lean on in the way I do now. So I am cutting them out of my life a little bit more, um, and it's, it's awesome to me, it feels great that I'm saying this on film and it's going to be made public, so yeah, that's what's happening, that's what's going on. There's a lot of things that are going on in my, going on in my life. Um, I guess what I will stick with is uh, I'm going to do my art and I'm going to do my, uh, my, my drawings and put it out there for people for free. Uh, I'll video some of them, update you on what's going on in each art piece, uh, and it'll be fun and it'll be good. I'm sorry this has been a long, long video. Um, I'm so sorry, but, you know, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Uh, this is Matthew Burgraff, MB Frigate, on uh, Wednesday, June 7th. Um, uh, well, yeah, the video originally is on Wednesday, June 7th. Um, it will be posted both in, um, I think, I, w I don't know, I may or may not know. No, because this is June. This is not going to be part of the May vlogs, uh, the Lost Vlogs of May, but I will, I will post this in my June uh, I'll have to make a new playlist for my June vlogs. So, anyway, it is, uh, this is Matthew Bur this is Matthew Burgraff, MB Frigate. Follow your dreams and passions for this year, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!